Good morning everyone. Happy Friday. How's your week been? March has been intense. <laughs> Every single year for as long as I can remember, at least 20 years, March has been, you know, crazy intense. April has been about relationships and May has been about big changes, moving house, getting a divorce, like that's that type of stuff. So these three months are really full on for, for me every single time. And I believe it could be the case for everyone else as well. Um, March is about uh, working on the foundations. That's why it's so intense. It's like, oh my God, realizing how much you actually have to do um, to succeed and then <laughs> taking it really personally and, and worrying about failure. So anyway, today I'm here to talk to you about my 30 day program and porn addiction. It launches tomorrow. <laughs> it's been a lot of work, all right? So it's a rebrand on the previous um, couple of uh, programs. So if you've done the program already, I'm getting asked this all the time by my guys, then, then you wouldn't do this one as well. You would then just book in with me and we do one-on-one -on -one sessions. Um, it's a digital program, so it's finally up and running on a uh, lot, you know, on on video, and so there's instructions and education and all the things. So this 30 day program is to get men off porn. Um, the big question we always get is how much porn is too much porn, and the answer is uh, any any porn watching, unless you're doing it like twice a year is detrimental because of the effects that it has on the brain and the way that it um, changes the neural pathways in the brain and causes brain damage. It also causes erectile dysfunction. So my new program is called Master Reboot. Um, it's a guided course for men to quit porn and to um, you know resolve any erectile dysfunction. So men that have um, over the years, I've done lots of research and lots of stats. And if you want to read my book, The Uncensored Threat, you'll see all of that research in there. Um, 100%, um, nearly 100%, so 99% of men that have come to see me um, that watch porn have erectile dysfunction. Now, the way we classify erectile dysfunction is, um, you know, you can't get it up. You can't maintain an erection, either or. Um, you lose an erection during sex or masturbation um, that you can't get it up unless you're watching porn. That's the massive big sign. Um, also, if you are having trouble with premature ejaculation um, and you can't last longer as well as difficulty achieving orgasm. So though all those things, are, are, you know, fall under the, the, the banner, I guess, or the umbrella of um, erectile dysfunction and um, my two week challenge, which is my mini program has been around forever. And um, I've never met anyone that's been able to do it. So um, we're not there to set men up for failure with that two week challenge. We're there to see what's actually going on organically when we take away porn, what happens when they masturbate, what happens when they're you know um, having sex, what happens to their sexual energy, um, erections and, and all of those things. So we're taking men from a, a, a place of inadequacy and sexual frustration to mastering sexual energy and repairing neural pathways in just 30 days. It's really, really cool, right? Now, the definition of porn addiction means that you're watching it regularly. Regularly falls under the category of um, once a month or more. Don't you love these lights? Look at my alien eyes. <laughs> if someone knows how to use ring lights uh, and glasses, I have to kind of look down so that it doesn't happen. But anyway, uh, <laughs> if you're watching it once a month or more, it's considered in the scale of porn addiction. If you're watching it once a month and you're masturbating once a month, then you have a porn addiction. That's a hands down thing. Um, I would even go as far as to say if you're watching it uh, once every two months and you're only masturbating once every two months, then you also have a porn addiction. Okay, so it's the reliance on porn. It's how long you've been watching it for. Um, in my masterclasses that I run, I get guys to, um, you know, how old are you now? How old are you when you first watched porn? Do the math and see how many years you've had porn influencing your life. And, um, you know, for most guys, it's at least 20 years, 20, 30, 40 years. Interesting um, thing is happening also with, um, in my book uh, and all of my literature and content, I always talk about 27 year olds and, 
because I started to see a pattern of what was happening with that. And over the weekend, um, you know, I started to realize that <coughs> when I first started doing this 10 years ago, those 27 year olds that are coming through now were 17, right? And the smartphone came out in 2009. So, um, you know, kids that were 13 to 17 may not have had a smartphone straight away because that seemed to be a thing that, you know, only adults had. But any kids that have been in a separated environment um, or divorce uh, will most likely have a phone before the kids that don't because um, the co parents have to contact them directly and, and people don't want to talk to their, their ex-spouse a lot of the time. So... So there's, there's been a thing that we've I've been monitoring for 10 years and it's starting to become really obvious that the 27-year-olds now are in the worst situation. Mind you, the 17-year-olds and the 13-year-olds that contact me on Instagram are in a, a worse case than, um, than the 27-year-olds now. But the 27 to 35-year-olds have been watching porn on a smartphone for a long time. And... Uh, we're starting to see, you know, they're all on Viagra. Um, they've got impotence issues. They've got gaming issues. Um, you know, th there's a lot, a lot of problems happening there because they've been watching it for the 10 years that I've been doing this, right? So it's pretty cool to start seeing these um, these results. Not cool for them, obviously, but cool for the industry and for someone like me who was a pioneer and being a woman has been quite difficult coming into this industry. Um, but it's, it's something that people need to have a look at. And if you're not looking at this in terms of your children and your spouse and yourself, um, then, you know, what, what are you doing? <laughs> right? Okay. So I'm just going to go through, um, I've got my landing page in front of me, my brand new landing page. We launch this tomorrow, right? Tomorrow is launch date. I am going to run a competition for this and I'm going to give away a free program to someone, um, but there's just too much going on right now with the DNA process. We've got competitions coming out our ears. So, um, and I'm trying to build all of this. Uh, I do everything myself. I do have a VA now, which is exciting. Um, but, uh, I'm doing all the, you know, the building and the landing page and the videos and the production and the ed editing and all that stuff. Um, <clears throat> so if you're watching porn once a month or more, then you need to take a look at this. If you're avoiding intimacy because, because you can't maintain or get an erection, then you need to look at this. Um, is premature ejaculation holding you back, right? Is it is it causing a problem in your relationship? Are you not able to last longer than, you know, 30 seconds, a minute? Um, anything over there is, is really not classified as premature ejaculation. Um, you know, some guys ejaculate as soon as anyone touches them. So, um, or as soon as they, you know, start sex. So, uh, you know, every guy wants to last longer though, except the guys that have got sensitivity issues and they're the ones that can't orgasm. They're the ones that also need to do this program because <clears throat> you lose sensitivity over the years because you're overstimulating your brain and you're desensitizing your penis, right? Are you losing that sensitivity? Are you finding that um, your penis is less sensitive than it used to be? Are you finding that you're having trouble, you know, in sex and you're not stimulated and turned on and able to, you know, hold that energy? Um, are you feeling unmotivated and sluggish? Are you having trouble with decision making, focus, concentration, memory? That's all the brain damage that occurs. Do you have trouble um, expressing yourself emotionally? In society, we all look at this and say, oh, men don't ask for help and they don't know how to talk about their feelings and blah, blah, blah. Well, if you have a look at the research that I've done, it affects, um, porn addiction affects the brain uh, and it's the frontal lobe, which is the control panel of your personality, which is where emotional expression comes from. So if you can't express yourself and you're watching porn, then it's, it's, it's a no-brainer, all right? And I've also linked suicide in men to porn addiction because of the stats um, being so high, it, it came at 97% of men surveyed that were watching porn. I've also tapped into a couple of other people's surveys and uh, real surveys, not, uh, you know, the ones that are in the mainstream media. <laughs> Um, and it's, you know, it's, it's up 97, 98% of men, uh, or people that were surveyed are watching porn. So, um, you know, it, it comes, the damage that it does is where your mental health stuff sits. So your depression, anxiety comes from the, the, the frontal lobe. And so if you're watching porn, um, then, you know, you're going to have brain damage. So, um, 
so I got all this stuff popping up on my phone and my like leave me alone I just want to do a video <laughs> okay um so that's why we've linked suicide in men because there is frontal lobe damage to everyone that watches it on a regular basis all right so it's a no-brainer there too um so um, if you want to have a look at my program, I have amazing offers on at the moment. It finishes tomorrow, end of business tomorrow or end of the day tomorrow because it's Saturday here. Um, you get $100 off if you register before tomorrow. Um, you get a $50, um, what's it called, uh, voucher to work with me. Um, what else do you get? <laughs> I've forgotten. Here we go. Uh, you get a couple's intimacy process um, and workbook, which the guys don't get if they do the program with me normally. Um, and you get my Spotify self-pleasure playlist, which is the one that I massaged to. Um, it's all like shaman music and, and things like that. So, um, so yeah, you get a whole lot of bonuses. Only first 10 men that register for that. And there's only a couple of places left for that. So if you're interested and you want to get some bonus offers then um then speak to me you also get an extra 30 days after the program finishes sms um, support from me which is huge right and so on the last week of the program uh, the guys get a, a blank calendar and what they need to do is everything that they've learned so each week they learn different things so they'll learn um you know conscious self-pleasure to begin with and breath work there's energy techniques there's um uh, tantric and Taoistic practices in there as well. Um, and and so there's a whole lot of, um, there's Qigong, there's meditation, there's a whole lot of stuff in this program that I want these guys on day 30 to decide out of all of those things that I've taught them and they've been practicing, um, microcosmic orbit meditation, um, sublimation breath, all of these things that they're learning, um, they then decide on day 30, what is it that they're gonna take moving forward in terms of their schedule? How often are they gonna masturbate based on the knowledge that they now know in terms of unhealthy ejaculation, semen retention, um, you know, we get them off porn, that's a, that's a given. Um, that happens every time within the first couple of days or first couple of weeks which is really really cool um, but it's always um, important that we integrate this into guys lives and so they get this blank calendar they have to decide how often they're going to masturbate are they going to do the qigong are they going to use the sublimation breath are they going to do um, you know the microcosmic orbit meditation um, how are they going to um, move forward with this amazing information to ensure that it does take 90 days to break a break a habit and start a and start a new one um and you know we're also working with behind the scenes with belief systems and mental health issues and anxiety and sleep and all, all those things so it's up to them then to decide now the guys that sign up before tomorrow get an extra 30 days sms support from me so they can check in with me i they send me their schedule i understand what's going on for them they get some you know support from me so it's pretty cool um, so that's only for 10 guys and you get $100 off and that offer finishes tomorrow. So $50 uh, voucher with me, $100 off the program. Um, you actually save $200 because you're paying up front. A couple's intimacy process and workbook and my Spotify pleasure uh, playlist as well as the extra 30 days support on WhatsApp. So it's pretty cool. Um, so the other thing that a lot of people want to know, and I know there's some women watching now is, um, is, you know, is it the same addiction for men and women? And the answer is yes. It is a neural addiction. It is not a sex addiction. Everyone thinks it's this sex addiction. It's not, right? It's the sexual nature, obviously, because you're watching porn and you're masturbating, but it's a neural addiction. So what a porn addiction is, is when you watch porn and masturbate, your brain produces a whole lot of chemicals and hormones in the body. Uh, oxytocin, serotonin, and dopamine are the three main ones. You've got um, opiates as well and tunnel vision that occurs. So uh, opiates are the feel-good chemicals, the endorphins. Um, Tunnel vision is when the endorphins get kicking off and you end up in a tunnel. So an earthquake starts and you're masturbating already. So you're going to keep going until you orgasm. Um, guys with ADHD, autism, anxiety, depression will masturbate for longer periods of time. They'll go down, you know, wormholes, basically rabbit holes with this stuff um, and masturbate for a long period of time, edging, even if they don't have erection, um, full erections and things. And that's because of that tunnel vision. So it's the only time they get to feel good because there's a feel-good chemical going on in their body which is the um you've got the oxytocin and the serotonin 
the dopamine is the uh, addictive one, which is the novelty um, drug is what we call it. And it's, I like what I see and I want to see more of it. That's dopamine. Dopamine uh, is what gets worn out. The dopamine receptors in the brain gets worn out when people are watching porn and masturbating. Um, and, you know, what they watched, you know, three years ago, 10 years ago, doesn't turn them on anymore. And this is why men are watching more and more violent porn and fetish porn and kitty porn and like all the stuff. Um, and, you know, when the oxytocin is produced, it's the bonding hormone. So you're bonding with what you're watching. The subconscious mind thinks that it's happening to you because you're having this chemical reaction. So, you know, guys... Um, turn to their partners and it's like a vanilla sex situation and they're not as turned on and they can't get it up and all that stuff because it's not porn but also because they bonded to all the things that they've seen in the past which their brain actually thinks has, has happened to them right it's it's not this peeping tom thing you know porn is a spectator sport but your brain thinks it's happening to you so you've got this hit of chemicals and then there's a crash so what goes up must come down and on the crash, a whole lot of shit happens there. And if you want to see some of my other masterclasses, you'll see why men are getting erectile dysfunction from watching porn, just from that alone, from the crash. They're losing their energy and their semen and their nutrients and vitality. And so when you've got this hit crash, hit crash scenario, the brain can't accommodate for all those extra chemicals and hormones. It's, it's just like coke addiction or, or drug addiction. And so, you know, day one, you might have cocaine or, or whatever and, um, you know, feel really high and you're amazing and you stay up all night and whatever. And 3 a.m. It's like, eh, the body's starting to come down and people are looking for coke at 3 a.m. on the dance floor. Um, and then, you know, you know might, you might get it the next day, but you haven't had enough sleep and you haven't eaten and, and your body's starting to feel depleted and your brain can't go back up to that same high. And if you did it day after day after day, so if you watch porn every single day for five to seven days, you've got a porn addiction because what's happening is your brain can't, can't survive in that mode. It has to um, change itself to accommodate for those extra chemicals and hormones. And when it does that, um, it changes the neural pathways in the brain and it expects this next level of, of um, high to occur. And so, um, you know, you, you're looking at like amazing high here and then the brain changes itself and expects that level again and then you need another high and then you need another high and it keeps going up and up and up, okay? And so the same addiction occurs in women, right? It, it, you obviously, you don't get erectile dysfunction, but it does affect the genitals in terms of the sensitivity. It does affect your dopamine in terms of how you get off or how you can't get off anymore. Um, you know, whether you're watching porn together as a couple, that's still a porn addiction. And the way that we teach this with men is um, in the masterclasses and, and my clients is I say, right, for, the, for your end of the deal, apart from, you know, the conscious self-pleasure and doing the exercises they're given, they have to change the word porn to heroin. All right? And when we do that, it changes the feel of it. Like, would you show your, you know, would you give your kids uh, heroin? Would you um, shoot up together with your partner? So it starts to become a little bit like, oh my God, because it's the damage done to the brain is worse than heroin addiction. And there's plenty of scans online by Dr. Amen that you can have a look. It's in my book as well. Um, it's really important that people understand that, you know, if you've got a porn addiction, uh, and you've had that running since you were 13, 14, 17, um, you will have um, brain damage, you'll have erectile dysfunction, you'll have a warped sense of reality, um, you'll be compartmentalizing women. So you'll be walking down the street and seeing boobs and, and asses and, and whatever and not seeing the whole person. And, and when men contact me, that is often the thing that they say, straight up is is that's how they've hit the point where they need to get some help is because they realize that they're walking down the street it's often single men that that come to me about this and they're like i just can't see women as the beautiful creatures that they are um with their personality and their chemistry and their smile and whatever um i'm, I'm not looking at the eyes anymore i'm looking at the body parts and i'm compartmentalizing and that's what happens when you watch porn um, so if you are watching porn once a month or month more, whether you're a fa female, a male, or you're in a couple in a relationship, um, especially if you're watching it regularly in a relationship, you are doing a lot of damage to your body and your brain. And tomorrow I launch my program, but there are pre-launch offers there that will not continue tomorrow. 
and those are just for the ones that just joined me um, you get hundred dollars off it's only for ten guys that contact me you get a hundred dollars off there's only a few places left you get fifty dollars off to work with me so it's a voucher to do some one-on-one -on -one coaching you get an extra 30 days support from me on whatsapp it's all valued at five and a half thousand dollars just the extras um, you get a couple's intimacy uh, process and workbook so you can do this with either a fuck buddy or a partner or a wife um, your Spotify playlist you get as well. So pleasure, self-pleasure is where I come from. This is not about no fat. It's about um, conscious self-pleasure. We have to rewire the brain where we um, disconnect the links between porn, ejaculation, orgasm, and, um, and masturbation. So we take porn out, we link the other three chains back up, and then we start to slow down on the ejaculation. Eventually, I teach guys how to, I mean, we hint at it in this program, but 30 days is not a long period of time to change habits that you've been doing for like 60, 70 years in some cases. Um, so, you know, you'll, you'll get to practice conscious self-pleasure all the way through and then you um, feed in all the other energy exercises and meditations and things as well. It's, it's a pretty cool program. So lots and lots of feedback. There's lots of testimonials on the website. Um, so I'll post the link to that program program uh, in in the comments pre-launch offers finish tomorrow close the business tomorrow um, so it's only for the first 10 men I've already um, spoken to about three or four men so it's really important that you get in now um, I'll put the link in the comments to the special offer page and you'll see that the, all the deals and the hundred dollars off anyway I've got to run because I've got a client online and if you have any questions about anything I've spoken about today please pop them in the comments and I can address them on the next live I hope you have an amazing day um, and an amazing weekend and we've got some really exciting stuff happening on the weekend but I'll share that with you hopefully next week have a great day bye